Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Libra, this is your divine masculine reading. So this is for the divine feminines wanting to hear about their divine masculines, because let's be honest, like divine masculine aren't going to be watching this. They're not going to validate you. They're divine masculine. They're just going to run away. I'm not gonna validate what's going on so yeah this is for all you divine feminines out there bear in mind my loves these are general readings so it's not going to resonate with all of you but if it does take a look at the description box below there's a link to my patreon if you want to watch extended videos there's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading you have to come to my website if you want to book a reading i'm never gonna come to you this is the only legit way of doing it so if I am coming to you, it's not me. It's somebody fooling you, trying to scam you. It's gentvtarot.com if you want, if you want me. So last night I had a dream about Divine Masculine. And uh, it very much relates to uh, the books the wheel of time there's going to be a series coming out in november um but if you've never read the wheel of time it's a quest so you know against evil good against evil so there's that but in it there's these characters that are female called the Aes Sedai and they're able to open themselves up spiritually and touch with their soul something called the true source or uh, do you remember? Sadir is what it's called for the females. The men are not able to do this because if they do, they get sick and they die. Or they go crazy. And in my dream last night, it related Twin Flames to this. So... What I was told in my dream was that when Divine Masculine just touches the true source, which is you, is Divine Feminine, which is love, the universe, you know, their higher self, when they get there and they touch that, they run away from it. They can't handle it. It makes them crazy. And that's because there's a block and it related it to what's going on in the book is that there's a block. I haven't read these books for like, I don't know, 10 years at least. So it's strange that it's coming to me now. But in Divine Masculine, I was told there is a block that needs clearing. And when that is cleared, then the Divine Masculines can come towards their Divine Feminines. I hope you stuck with me there. So, Libra, Divine Masculine. Libra, Divine Masculine. What games do you got? emotional blocks you know what it looks like there's no freaking change i'm gonna be honest here it looks like exactly the same story and you know what it's nice to hear actually there's so many there's so many readers that i watch that are like this change is happening and, and you know what it's nice to see that it just looks kind of honest this it just looks like what you need to know right now we've got the hangman in reverse so it's it's just more and more delays more and more indecision more and more of divine masculine being this martyr and i will be with my karmic the next card along is karma I'll be with my karmic relationship. 
I I must suffer. Yeah, all right. So I'm asking them to calm down. It looks like there's no change, and it looks like basically you just kind of have to be patient and wait it out, or stop being patient and uh, get on with other things. And I don't mean move on from your divine masculine either. I I feel like. that defeats the purpose. I feel like it, it sort of means you have work to do on yourself. And as you do work on your soul, guess what? You're doing work on your divine masculine as well because you share the same soul. So if you're transmuting the pain that you're in, good work. If you're meditating, if you're growing spiritually, good work. You're on the right path. If you're sitting there moaning and yearning and, and gnashing your teeth and hurting. I, I've been there. I've been there recently. It's like this, isn't it? It's a journey. You're like, oh, I'm good. I'm bad. I'm good. I'm bad. Uh, you know. It is what it is and nothing anyone can say or do can stop the journey that you're on. But it is helpful, I think, as I'm on this journey to see, and I'm a Libra as well, to see that there's no change coming in, in the next week. All right, great. I can get on with the next week. Nothing, no, good, good, good. The next week's good. All right, wicked. We can just get on with things. It is going to move forward at some point. Yeah, you got your ace of pentacles you're calling it in just stop calling it in <laughs> you are already calling it in so stop keep you don't need to keep calling it in it's already coming all right just get on with the work that you need to do on you growing spiritually ascending learning new things enjoying life yep you're gonna miss them yep you're gonna think about them but if you're not doing the work on your soul, the work on their soul isn't happening either. Because it's divine masculine. They're not going to. And there is literally no point in you ever saying to your divine masculine, we're twin flames. Because there's going to be like, hmm? Mm? It means nothing to them because they're never going to validate it. This is your journey, baby. Yep, they triggered you. They opened you up. They woke you up. Just got the Ten of Cups come out. And it was upright. I feel like I might sneeze. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. You, yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, you just keep doing the work on you that you got to do. They're coming in. They got a deal. What's coming up? Their karmic relationship. Let's take a look at that. What's coming up in the near future? It's not coming up in the next week. The ne there is no change in the next week. Great. It's good to know. It's good to know so you can be prepared for absolutely no change instead of being like, oh, what's going to happen? So in their karmic relationship, oh, well, gee, what a surprise. Be prepared to be so uh, overwhelmed with indifference. We've got the <laughs> eight of swords. Oh, uh, uh, you're in a... Prison of your own making, are you, Divine Masculine? Oh, oh what a surprise. Oh, oh, we've got the four of ones in reverse. Uh, there's no love or joy or harmony in your life at all with your comic. Oh, oh well, what a surprise. Yeah, yeah. We've got the five of swords. Oh, you mean like, like all the crazy conflicts and fighting and, and betrayal and, and, and all of that? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. No, we're not surprised at all that's coming up in the near future so 
no change. Is there anything, anything you want to tell us that we don't know there, universe? Oh yeah, they, they hate their comic. It's it's all right. It's, it's, they're they're here. They are kind of looking towards you. Their comics in reverse here. It's not their. It's not their divine count counterpart. Even though this is the Queen of Pentacles, they're not looking towards you. She's in reverse. There's no balance in there with their. Four of Wands in reverse here. There's no balance in their life. There's no happiness. There's constant conflict. And they want that. That's what they're looking for. They want the Queen of Pentacles. They want their divine counterpart, but they haven't got it. We already know that, though. Queen of Earth. Anything coming up in the near future that, you know, might be a nice, pleasant surprise for us? It's a slow moving energy, y'all. It's a slow moving energy. This is what the your energy here. You just gotta be patient with the four of swords. You just gotta chill, relax, let it happen. So best you can hope for. Ooh, magician in the reverse, but best you can hope for. It's just <laughs> Getting an image of what is it? It's a uh, Arrested Development with the, the the guy Job, who's the uh, magician, when he comes out. Du -du -du, du -du -du -du, and he does some really crap trick, like like. <gasps> That's kind of what I'm getting with Divine Masculine. There is just, just a trickster. Tell me more. All an illusion. Ignore the trail of breadcrumbs that Divine Masculine leaves for you. Just ignore it. So, like, they've cut you off. They're ghosting you. Adjust my bra strap. We're all girls here. Well, if you're not a girl, you're Divine Feminine. I'm, I'm adjusting my bra strap. It's, we're hanging out. Stuff gets heavy in there. You gotta adjust it sometimes. <sighs> Ignore the trail of breadcrumbs that Divine Masculine leaves for you because right now you're going through your ascension, you're healing, you're getting better, you're working on things, you're working on you, you're working on your soul, which means you're working on your divine masculine soul, which is great. We've got the ten of swords in reverse. You're regenerating. You're 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 getting better. We've got the three of swords in reverse. You're you, you know your broken heart, caused by this buffoon, is healing. But you know what? They keep leaving this little trail of breadcrumbs for you. And I'll tell you what mine does, is. I will post something, a few days later he'll post something completely related to it, but he won't talk to me, and it's like, what are you doing? What's that little, oh it's just a breadcrumb, I'm going to ignore that breadcrumb because it's ridiculous, it's, it's, it's silly. So if you're going to leave a breadcrumb, you might as well have a conversation with me, right? Every time I move in my chair, my cat looks at me like, oh, what? Is it now? Is it now? Are you... I fed him like 20 minutes ago. But you come in. You come in to say hi. There's something in the way of your bed over there. So every time I move, he's like, are you, you going to feed me again? No, I'm just in my chair. Tell me more about what the best you can hope for. Oh, getting better, everything's healing, but breadcrumbs. Yeah, I'll just 
I'll stop talking about that. So you, we've got the Four of Swords. Contemplation. Spiritual growth. Meditation. Rest. Drinking from your own cup of love. You Queen of Cups, you. And we got the Six of Swords. So you're moving out of difficult times. And you're moving forwards into calmer waters. Great. I wouldn't rock this boat overly too much every time you get a breadcrumb thrown your way. Because, you know, you might sink that boat, knocking a few of those swords out, right? So, you know, you just go about your business, doing your thing. Yeah, this person's your kryptonite. Yes, they are. But for the love of God, you just keep rowing, mate. You just keep paddling along. You're getting into smoother waters here. You just keep paddling. Then, this, this doesn't surprise me at all. Then, we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. If it was this way around, we'd be like, oh, divine masculine, change is cool. Oh, great, you're, you're coming out of your weird, dark, divine masculine time. You're just a dark weirdo, aren't you? So we're coming out of that time. No. Divine Masculine's are still in his dark weirdo period. All right. Oh, I'm no good. I'm nothing. Oh, I'm, it's boring. Divine Masculine is overwhelming themselves with their own self-pity. The star in reverse, we've got the moon, it's just... Alright. Let's go to the outcome. I'm going to read this. It's the Empress. I'm going to read this, but then we're going to take into the extended. When is Divine Masculine going to stop messing you around? I'm going to ask this. When is this going to change? Because you're all like, all right, they're afraid. I'm, I'm getting throat chakras like, no, I can't do anything. Um, so they're afraid. When are they going to stop messing around? Because you're going through this like snail pace. So we're going to ask, when is Divine Masculine going to stop messing you around? How do they feel about you? How do they, where are you in their heart, heart space? How do they actually feel about you? Regardless of how many breadcrumbs they throw your way, what are they, what do they actually feel? Um, what are their intentions towards you? Let's have some guidance from the universe and all that. Well, yeah, what do they want to say to you? All that sort of stuff. But let's read this now. Why is the Empress here in the outcome? Because after all of that, no change. Everything's, you know, going to stay the same. I'm just going to throw you breadcrumbs and everything's going to be boring, you know. Why is the Empress here? The outcome. Little to no surprise there. Okay, so we've got the Empress. I can't pick the cards up, hang on. That's you, baby. That's you. You don't need your Divine Masculine. I'm going to tell you now. I don't need mine, you don't need yours. They woke you up. Yes. You love them so much that sometimes you feel like you can't breathe. Yes, I know. But you don't need them. You're good. They actually did what they're supposed to do in this life. They woke you up. So they, you've met your karma with your other self. You have met your karma. Good. That's all fine and dandy. But what's going on here is your Divine Masculine's proper five of cups at the moment. Like, I... Sorry, I need my illumination here. 
I can't use my lights anymore. I might as well get rid of them. They, they, they're too bright. So we've got the uh, five of cups. It's probably better that I didn't have the light on then. Illuminating oneself. They're looking at what they've lost. They didn't really want to lose everything that they had with their karmic. But they've lost it. It's done. It's gone. They are now looking at these two cups, which is you. And they're torn. They're unhappy. They've lost everything they've got. And yet they're still torn. They know that there you are. They know that you're the happiness and the things, the wonderful things that they have to look forward to. But they're kind of stuck on it didn't work out with the karmic. It's not working out with the karmic. But then there's the fool here. They're sort of thinking, well, it's not working out. Hello. Ding, ding, ding. It's not working out. I might not be able to get out of this karmic situation yet, but there's my divine feminine. See what we can get away with. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what a surprise, divine masculine. You're you're gonna throw another breadcrumb the way of the divine feminine, are you? <laughs> they feel like they're losing you because you're healing and you're going about your life. You're posting up cool stuff because you look awesome right now, right? Big glow up. Because you're looking after yourself and you're getting on with your life and you're busy and you're ascending. And Divine Masculine is all lower vibrational stuff that he's got going on. Finds that very attractive. So expect a very large breadcrumb coming your way. It's just a breadcrumb though, my love. We've got five of wands here. It's going to piss you off. I get a feeling it's actually going to kind of annoy you. Oh, that's all you've got for me. You're not going to leave your karmic. Nothing will come of this situation. Not right now. I think that says it all, really. You've already met your karma with your divine masculine. You know that they are your divine masculine. You've already got there. You got what you needed. Yes, you love them. I love mine so much that sometimes I can't, I can't even think. I can't even, like, I have to curl up on the sofa and cry sometimes. But I met my karma already. We did what we had to do. And I I forgive him for all the crap he's put me through in this life and every other one. And, and I ask his forgiveness for the same. You know, but I got what I needed. I woke up. It's time to go on to the next phase, whatever that might be. I don't know. How very appropriate. Double life by the cars. I see that they, you know, your divine masculine isn't really being very faithful to their karmic. Just the thought, you know, that maybe that's just the kind of person that they are. Your back seat rumble took your front seat. Wife takes a fast car later to lead a double life. Double life by the cause. Absolute tune. Might I add. Uh, I just want to pull one more thing. Can you, uh, love angels, give us a little bit of uh, a heads up? I'm going to go more to this in the extended book. A little bit of a heads up as to how divine masculine feels towards his feminine. But codependency and revert. You know what? I'm going to read these both. I'm, I'm actually compelled to read them upright calling in your soulmate 
Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. This is for you though. Don't be like praying for them. Pray for yourself. Affirmations for you. Visualizations for you. It's nothing to do with them. They will bring you together though. Codependency? Yeah, we, we don't want that, do we? Because you broke those patterns now, right? Yes, we've broken those patterns. So no more of those codependent, unhealthy relationships. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Interesting. That is what's going on with Divine Masculine. And I hear that over and over, not just from myself and my own readings that I do about Divine Masculine, other readers. They, there's a lot of addiction going on here and that can mean a lot of things. Alcohol, sex, addiction to a relationship, addiction to a job. There's a lot of that going on and it's affecting being happy. If Divine Masculine had any idea how happy they would be if they just stopped fighting against the flow of the universe and just went with it, with you, how happy they would be. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to watch the extended. Take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you later.